Hey guys, Adriano Pesquetti from Wines Real Estate. Welcome to my latest Club Mandalay listing. Today, I'm here at number 10 Easy Road in Beveridge. Don't forget guys, like, share, tag somebody in this post that may be interested. I promise they'll get to see this property before it hits the market. As always, we start outside at the front of the property. There's, it's jam-packed, the tour's gonna go for a little bit, so please bear with me. Um, as I said again, don't forget like, share, tag somebody in this post that may be interested. We're starting at the front of the property, as you can see behind me. It's a beautiful 35 square home, double story, jam-packed, it's four bedrooms, there's four internal living zones, which we're gonna show you inside, but we're gonna start at the front of the property. Um, I just wanna spin you quickly this way. So to the end of your street up here, so for those families that have kids, Beveridge Primary is literally just at the end of your street, guys, which is amazing. And to the other side, you'll actually notice, so you're at the top part of the estate, you're literally only a couple of minutes walk up to the clubhouse where you'll actually find all the Club Manly facilities including the award-winning golf course. And just here to the end of your street, you'll see a nice park that's so perfect for families with kids as I said. Um, there's play equipment, there's tennis courts, basketball courts and actually we might have got, normally I would take you actually on like a little golf buggy but I just want to quickly show you. So it is a golf course estate so if you've watched some of my videos before you'll actually know that lots of people drive golf buggies in this estate. But just through here, just through those trees through there, that's literally where Club Mandalay is. So that's the golf course, gym, outdoor pool, clubhouse, uh, and everything golf. So the home itself, you're in a really quiet residential street here, as I said, towards the top of the estate. The one cool thing I love about living uh, in Beveridge itself, or Mandalay, is the very community oriented and very family friendly. So, um, you are part of a body corporate. And if you watch my videos, you'll know that you actually can't park technically trailers, boats, caravans, work vehicles outside. So this house here, I just wanna show you, come over here, George. Side access is one of the key features with having properties if you're wanting that type of um, stuff or if you've got that type of stuff. So through here, just through there, you've actually got side access which will actually take you all the way to the back and you'll actually be able to park multiple cars off street um, as well as obviously boats and whatnot. The front of the house, as you can see, it's pretty nice. As it is, all we've done really is just given a really bit of, bit of a clean up, some mulch in the garden beds, trim the front back, but it's actually got a really pretty facade. We've also repainted the driveway just to give it a nice fresh look. It is behind a double car garage, so two cars can fit, plus you fit at least another one off street on this side. And as I said, on the other side as well, multiple off street parking. So we're gonna go through now and have a look inside. Welcome home, guys. So here we are. So the first thing that you'll notice as you come in these beautiful laminate timber floors. So they go through the downstairs main living zone, really nice and modern. And then we're gonna swivel around into the first of four living zones. That's right, four internal living zones. The first is the traditional, the old traditional formal lounge room. Today, this room is very multi-purpose. So again, for those families with kids, this room can really be the adult room, the kids play room, a home office, really a multifunctional room. Or if you're wanting to do, which I would consider, to make this home actually five bedrooms, so all the bedrooms are upstairs, this would easily double as a downstairs bedroom because through that door, which you'll see in a second, behind this wall over here, there's actually a powder room which you could easily make into a bathroom. So again, really spacious room. You've got nice lateral light that comes through here as well. So nice double windows as well. Again, really a fantastic space. Carpet of this room, again, you can change the carpet, you can uh, add floorboards through here as well. And then through this way, we're gonna swivel, we're gonna get George to head on through. This is the powder room that I was telling you about that backs on to that lounge room. And again, if you're wanting to make that into a uh, bedroom downstairs, you got all the plumbing here, easily make this into um, an ensuite or a semi ensuite being that you can have it for the downstairs guests. Now through here is a double garage, it is jam packed, we're not going to open that tonight but that is through here so you get access through. Um, through here you've got your um, uh, alarm system, okay, and then when you come through this way guys, this is the second of the living zones and this is your traditional open plan dining informal lounge and kitchen. We'll start with the dining zone, guys. So dining zone up to this end. Um, again, a very functional space. This space actually is quite large. So 
This is a smallish uh, six seater table. This could comfortably fit a big uh, 12 seater square table, a nice big circular table in this zone, very, very comfortably. And the cool thing I love about this zone is again, natural light that comes through. And obviously it is dust night. So if you're gonna come through and do an inspection during the day, you'll see what I mean. And this flows through into your open plan lounge zone, the traditional modern now open plan lounge zone. And again, very spacious. You can really maneuver this as you wish. We've obviously set it up as we have like this. So Chrissy and again, her team have done an amazing job just to showcase this zone. But again, if you're wanting to block off and move the couch around, you could. So obviously the TV is wall mounted. Um, this zone actually does feature split system heating and cooling, as you can see there. Mounted up there, so it's a nice Braemar system. Uh, heating and cooling. I've dropped. George, tried, George actually tried to do the, the right thing there and plonk the couch down, but he knocked over the pillow. Anyway, I fixed it up. It's all good. Uh, so again, a really good space, guys. Um, and then we flow through this side into your beautiful stone kitchen. Of course, the first thing that you'll notice is this beautiful oversized island bench. Uh, as you can see, acts as a breakfast bar, which you could comfortably fit four or five, you could even fit five stools along here. So 20 mil stone bench top, in the center of the room breaks up the dining lounge zone and the kitchen zone. You've got these beautiful pennant lights uh, that over the island bench as well, which I really, really love. Again, just gives it that luxe feel. Um, and the good thing about the island benches is it's a practical zone. So obviously you've got plenty of bench space, a prep zone. You've got your double sink through here as well. So double sink, as you can see there, plonk. And under here you have the dishwasher. So dishwasher through there as you can see. And then to the other side of the kitchen, you've got big bench zones either side, cupboards underneath and up the top, which are really, really cool. You've got your central uh, cooking zone, so nice big five. Now I always do this. I should have um, I should have actually tested this before. There is gas. Oh, there it is. I've, it's gone the little one, George. Look, there it is. It's the little baby one that I've gone with. So nice big five uh, gas burner cooktop, and you've got the um, extra hot plate or wok section in the middle, which I love. Nice big 900 mil uh, oven. And of course, the, the thing that you notice with this kitchen is this beautiful big panel window. So the owners actually rechanged their uh, 35 square home design to incorporate this. So you actually get loads of natural light through the day from this window. Again, it's amazing. And when you think the kitchen's done, well, it's not. We continue, oh, hello, there's the wall. We continue through this zone. Fridge zone down here, as you can see, nice big. The modern double door fridge will easily fit in here. It is plumbed down there as well. So if you're, it's capped off, but if you're wanting to, which most of us have these days, the fridges with the ice and the water, you can do that in through to your uh, butler's pantry, which I love. Now the owners, when they did this, you'll find in some homes, for cost saving measures, they actually go with laminate. No, the owners have not done that. Stone in here as well. So 20 mil stone to match the rest of the kitchen. And you've got obviously pantry space and shelf space along here. You've got down here an undermount sink, which I really, really love. Again, so if you want to keep your kitchen clean, you can just do all the washing up in here. More storage under here. You've got the microwave tucked under there as well. So if you're wanting the microwave. And then through here, into your laundry. So laundry has access to the side, which the clothesline is on. Um, no frills laundry, okay? So if you're wanting to add value in this space, you could, but nice big trough. You could bench this out. You can add shelves up the top or more cupboard storage. You could easily do that in here, okay? So that is the laundry. Um, then through, uh, off the kitchen and lounge zone is your third living zone downstairs. And this is the traditional theater room with sliding door. Hello, welcome. So the traditional theater room or kids playroom, or as I mentioned before, you can make this into a fifth bedroom if you wanted to as well. So if you wanted to keep that front zone to keep it separate and you wanted a fifth bedroom, this is way big that you can make this into a fifth bedroom or for the bedroom downstairs as well. Okay, really functional space. Oversized room, nice big, nice big windows actually, almost floor to ceiling. 
the outlooks into your garden zone as well. So again, a really multi-functional and multi-purpose space and house, perfect for those bigger families as well. Uh, we're gonna wait to go outside. So I'm gonna take you actually upstairs. Uh, I actually just quickly here, just so you can see. So there is um, two things. There is central heating, so that's upstairs and downstairs. Downstairs has that split system, but upstairs there's evaporative cooling, which you'll see in a second. So that's the evap cooling. Oh, also too, in here I'm not gonna show you very much, but there is understairs storage. So just around the corner, it actually tucks away all underneath the stairs. So you've got loads of storage, extra space down there as well. And again, the owners have obviously decluttered, so they're using that space as storage. So we're gonna head on up the stairs, and of course, you'll see these beautiful timber stairs walking up, which I quite love. And then the first thing that you'll notice as you come upstairs is the fourth of the living zones. And this is the rumpus room or the kids area, teenage zone. Um, having this space up here, again, with bedrooms either side is perfect. Also for those people that are working more from home now, this actually acts as a really good uh, office space as well, because you get loads of natural light through the windows through. But again, it's a really functional space. To me, it's actually perfect to have this zone upstairs. Um, more of the bigger homes now have this space. So again, I think it's really awesome. We're gonna take you through and show you the three bedrooms and then I'm gonna fin finish off in the master, okay? So the three bedrooms, they're serviced by central bathroom. Now this is a really big bathroom. There is a lot of floor space in here. So multiple people, uh, especially for those families with kids that have a couple of kids that you're trying to share and bath at the same time, it's perfect, okay, for this space. Shower with rain head, which I really love, like check that out. So dual shower head, which I think is cool. You got obviously vanity uh, and basin, toilet, and also bathtub. So bathtub, for those families with kids, the fact that there is a bath in there I think is great. It just adds to the extra bit the families this home does cater to. You've got a walk-in uh, linen, as you can see there, more storage. And then at the back, you've got the bedroom. So bedroom number two, just over here. And again, they're all really good size bedrooms. They're all big double bedrooms. Um, just to show you how much space that there is, you could ease, I mean, this is a queen size bed. You can even put a, a, a desk on the other wall if you're wanting to. But again, a really good space. Built-in robes. So you'll see through here, they're all got nice built-in robes. They've got some shelf space, some drawer space. So the owners did all this. And hanging space, dual hanging space, which I really, really love. And then we'll go to bedroom number three. Over here. Again, uh, this one's slightly different configured. It's a little bit longer, a little bit bigger than next door, but again, really awesome space. Nice big room, nice big bed, just to show off how much space there is. Again, big wardrobes, built-in wardrobes, as you can see there. So dual hanging space and shelving and cupboard space through there. The final bedroom through here. So this is at the back corner of the house. This one's a little bit special. And I'm gonna show you why in a section, in a second. But again, again, really good size room. These rooms are all massive. But through here, this one actually has a walk-in. Hello, it's actually a walk-in robe. So this one almost is a, the size of the room uh, for smaller homes, it could actually be a master, it's, it's that big. But this has a walk-in uh, walk uh, walk pantry, a walk-in wardrobe, lots of shelf space, cupboard space. So this is perfect um, for the girls out there that obviously have more clothes than guys, generally speaking. You got hanging space and the owners have actually um, fixed the desk. So this is a little study zone in here as well, which I think acts as, at least you got more space out there. Plenty of power points in here too, which I think is really, really cool. So they are the three uh, smaller bedrooms. And then I'm gonna flip you around and I'm gonna show off back through this way into the master retreat. So walk with me this way, guys. Come through and check out the size of this. It is massive, huge master retreat, okay? Loads of space. Um, traditionally, I would set this room up as it is, so I would definitely have 
bet on this wall and TV on this wall for a few reasons. Um, obviously, you've got a lot more wall space on this side, so it, to me it makes sense to actually have it on this side. And then the other reason why is all your TV points uh, and power points obviously are along this wall. So we've obviously jazzed this up on the wall as to show you as it mounts, the TV would mount on the wall. And I just want to quickly flip you this way. So this is a nice little zone here where, yes, you can put a nice mirror, but if you're wanting to have like a bookshelf or deck this out as a nice shelving space to have different things, that would work out really, really well there. So again, really good space, nice big window. So you've got three big wind out windows. So these windows are wind out, as you can see there. I've wound them out already, just so you can have a look. Okay, they're all got the mesh on them. Uh, and from up here, actually, can we get the view? I'm not sure if, yep, we can, good. So you've got park there. So for those families with kids and who have seen my Club Mandalay videos before, this is an amazing community with so many parks. You literally got one across the road. And just a little bit further, just over that away, it's about a three or four minute walk straight to Club Mandalay, golf course and all of Club Mandalay facilities. Literally a three or four minute walk from where your future home will sit. And then through here, guys, into your walk-in. So you got his and her side. That's the way that it's designed. Um, so plenty of hanging space, so dual hanging space again. You got cupboard space and shelf space on both sides, which I think is really, really cool, okay? And you've also got some storage at the top. So one thing this house does have is lots of storage and you walk through into a really good size ensuite, okay? It's, it's big, big ensuite. You've got a nice big double shower. The cool thing about this shower is I actually love the fact that the door is at the front, not on the side. So many I see on the side, if you walk straight in. Not, again, nice big shower head, vanity with plenty of bench space, which I really, really love, and towel warmer. Just another little feature that, to add in there. Now we're gonna go and check out the backyard downstairs. So we're gonna probably, nah, you know what, I'm gonna talk. We'll walk back down, we'll walk back down. I'll normally do it a little bit the other, but it's, it was raining today, so we're just gonna do it in a little bit of a different configuration. So we head back downstairs, and then back through to your lounge zone. We're gonna come outside. So you've got stack of door, one, two, and You've also got a stacker uh, fly screen as well that opens up, as you can see, to your cupboard, our fresco zone. Now we've just uh, freshly painted the concrete out here all the way to the side of the house and all under here has just been freshly repainted. Okay, so this zone just extends and makes it a fifth living zone. This obviously is covered. Um, to add value here, as I always say, cafe blinds on either side down here would really complement this zone, okay? So you've got obviously plenty of space up this side if you're wanting to, um, to park trailers and whatnot. Now you can't access it from the garage. So the garage uh, around here, you've got a, a door that leads into it. Um, and then of course, which we'll, George will be able to do that. I'm not gonna go under there because it's wet, but obviously that is the garage door that acts into the double garage. Um, and then it's on the other side where you'll actually find um, the side access with the driveway that you'll actually be able to drive a car all the way up here. So you can actually have plenty of cars off street, not only the double garage and double driveway, you could fit you know, another four cars off street here. And then of course you've got the garden zone. So no frills with this garden zone. This is another area uh, that the owners didn't get to, but if you're wanting to add value in this zone, you could easily do that. Um, again, grass it out, box it out. If you wanted to do different things to it, you can. Obviously, the storage shed will stay. Um, so that's the home, guys. It's uh, As I said, it's an amazing home here in Club Mandalay. Again, just the stone side away from Club Mandalay. You're only 40 or 45 minutes from Melbourne CBD. It is the first regional, first stop into regional Victoria as well, still, which is amazing. So for those of you uh, who uh, got through the lockdowns, this was the first stop where people were able to actually freely roam around Victoria, which is amazing. And I sold many homes uh, through COVID in this wonderful estate. It's an amazing estate, very community oriented, very family oriented, um, and very has very, pretty much everything 
As I said, you're literally here at the end of your street. You've got Beveridge Primary as well. So for those families with kids, Beveridge Primary is literally just here. A two, not even a two-minute walk uh, from where your future home sits. So, guys, thank you very much for taking the time and having time. I know it's a little bit, obviously, uh, rainy today. So thank you for... Um, Sticking through it, it is a little bit of a long tour than normal because there is a lot to see, as I said, 35 squares of living. It does constitute of a little bit a longer video. So hopefully you stuck through it all um, and enjoyed it. Uh, as I always say, as I said initially, don't forget like, share, or tag someone in this post that may be interested, I promise. They'll get to see this property before it hits the market. Um, it is an amazing home. Of course, if you want any other further information about this home or every, any of our other homes, Jump and like and follow us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, at My Agent Real Estate. Like and follow us. You'll see this home and everything else that we have to do. Even better too, we've got a YouTube channel, at My Agent Real Estate. You can subscribe to that as well and see anything real estate will be on that channel. Thanks, guys, uh, for taking the time and having a tour. If you need any further information about this home as well uh, and you're wanting maybe a private inspection or you're wanting to know a little bit more about what your home where it sits in the current market, feel free to give myself and the team any call. Always happy to help on 0402-055-437. Guys, thanks very much for taking the time and having a tour. And I can't wait to, can't wait to meet you at one of our opens. Thanks.